Hi, it's One Invisible Song. She said I do have a new song today. The song is called Alone, and the words in Hebrew will be explained underneath the video. Just because everyone is doing something doesn't mean it's right. Seek out and follow the Torah truth, even if you are alone in doing so. As if you follow Hashem's will, you won't be alone. It is very easy to just go with the flow, like the sheep in the field, as maybe you don't want to seem or look different. And for others to say things about you, such as that you are the oddball, strange, weird, etc. Not that, that it really, not that it really matters. If you are strong in your convictions, and do not let silly things like name calling cause you to lose your strong foundation unless it is not that solid and you are tottering between what you are to do that is when you have to seek out help from a trusted source a rabbi who speaks only the emet as he is likely to also be one who is alone or in the minority that is not afraid of anyone and only speaks the truth of Akadosh Baruch Hu and the Torah, like Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi, Rabbi Yuval Ovadja, Rabbi Alon Anava, and Rabbi Yiron Uvein. See the links below for their websites. Why are you afraid to be alone if it means you are doing the right thing and everyone else is failing? And faltering, I could care less what others think of me or say about me, as I am only here in this world to please and serve Avinu Shabbat Shamayim, and nothing else matters, and nothing else matters. When you and I get to the Olam HaEmet, and it is time for the trial to judge our actions in the physical whole world. I want to know that I did my best to do the rod zone of the ball rail even if it was difficult, hard, tough, challenging, and demanding because of the time, place, circumstance, or social environment. As if Hashem gave us the mitzvah to do, then he knew already that we were capable of doing it, even if it was a struggle at times. Or we would rather just go fit in with society instead of looking or acting or speaking different. As that is what helped keep them as Am Yisrael when they left with Trahim is that they kept their names, language, and dress according to what a Kaddish Baruch Hu wanted and not what they would choose or suggest. We are not here in this existence. To change, adjust, alter, and or subtract to the laws, rules, and commandments that were given to us by Hashem Yitzbaharach as they are precisely perfect, pure, and holy and give us both a foundation to stand on and a means to know what we are supposed to do and how we need to live as any and every question you have the answers are in the Torah, the one and only divine book that you are unable to even f ever finish learning as it is an endless ocean of information with so many levels of understanding, some that are beyond our capability and capacity, and some that Hashem has hid away that we will only comprehend when our neshama ascends and returns to where it came from. So you see that being alone is not something bad, negative, or bothersome, as if you are following the derech of Hashem and working to always improve your midot. You are never alone and have made the best choice that will only give you joy and satisfaction of a spiritual nature, a spiritual nature that no one in this earthly existence can ever decipher or measure, that no one in this earthly existence can ever decipher or measure.
Thanks for listening. One Invisible Songstress.